started at 2.45 this morning when we picked up our pilot and Queen Mary 2, the flagship of the Cunard Line fleet, was the first ship, first ship in this morning, uh, followed by Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. And then as we made our turns around the Bramble Bank and came up towards Calshot, that's when we had the first sight of the people out to see these three great uh, liners coming into the port of Southampton. And it was really very exciting from that point onwards. And then Queen Mary 2 continued down to the upper swinging ground where we turned the ship and then positioned ourselves whilst the other two came alongside the berth. And by that time, we had all of our crew out on decks, the guests were out on decks lining the, the, the uh, ship's side. And we had our entertainment staff all dressed up in colors and we had music playing. And then as we came up uh, to the bowels of the Queen Elizabeth and the Queen Victoria, then the momentum really built. And we were playing wonderful music and everybody was cheering and it's just a fabulous atmosphere this morning. Absolutely wonderful to be part of it. And I think it was a great tribute from the three ships and the company, Cunard Line, to Her Majesty. Well, I'm sure on all three ships, they, uh, they seem to have a fantastic time this morning. Um, we supplied them with flags to wave, uh, encouraged them out onto the open decks. And I must say, from looking at all the uh, three ships, they really did uh, enter into the spirit of it. There was much cheering and whooping and waving of flags. So, uh, terrific occasion. Her Majesty the Queen's Diamond Jubilee event. Three Cunard Queens in Southampton to celebrate it. A once-in-a-lifetime event. Thank you.